Linda's Pantry and as you see in the title, I'm making a pimento cheese pasta salad. This is wonderful and I know you're going to love it. Um, it. It takes all the elements out of pimento cheese that you can put in a pasta salad and makes it delicious. So I'm going to be using a couple of things that I know you guys have t asked me about and um, I'm going to you know, cover some of that stuff. The first thing I'm going to use, and I absolutely love this, is the Tupperware Pasta Maker. It has measurements on this side and this side, which measures how much pasta you put in. There's a bottom measurement, and then when you look in there, you know, it's serving for two, and then the top measurement is the amount of water you put in, all the way up to six servings. So you can cook up to a pound of spaghetti in here, and I'm going to tell you that they fit in here perfectly. Linguini, spaghetti, all that. That being said, um, this recipe couldn't get simpler, so I think I'm going to bring you in. I, I do believe that I lost the footage from today on grating the cheese. I just washed up the Fusion Master grater, but I will put a clip in here if that's the case right here where you can watch how I how it grades just like in seconds I graded up um, some sharp cheddar Tillamook cheese which is my very favorite so um, anyway it's just a more economical way to grade your cheese and we've got pimentos here and I've got a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of Miracle Whip yep and Ditalini pasta so the Ditalini let's bring you in close so you can see what I'm doing and how fast and easy this comes together because it couldn't be easier. Come on in. Okay, so here's the pasta maker and I'm, I'm not, I don't think it shows up here, but those measurements are inside and it's just, it's, it's, it, you know, it's part of the pasta maker. So, um, I'm not making a very big bunch because some of us don't eat a lot of carbs. So I've got my beautiful modular mate that I've labeled pasta and I can see that it's the Ditalini pasta out of the pantry and I buy, now I buy my pastas in bulk because of the modular mates. So I really only want to end up with about four cups of pasta. This is a half cup measurement, so I'm gonna need four of these. Whoops, and we're making a mess. So, let's get a few more, and we'll just throw pasta everywhere. One more. Okay, one more to do it. And on here, it says that we're doing the four servings, which is perfect. Four servings, and it gives me a measurement of where the water should go. I'm just going to throw these little runaways in there, and we'll grab some water and get that done. I also, you need to salt your pasta. This is really the only time you're going to get salt. So I have some light Himalayan pink salt. I'm going to put a teaspoon of that down there. Mm -hmm. Anyway. You're going to cook this per the instructions on the box or the bag or whatever. So I'm going to put this in my microwave at 90% power because I have a 1000 watt microwave. I'm going to fill the water, put it in 90% power for 12 minutes. Remember you've got to heat up that water and bring it to a boiling. You cook it without the lid. The lid, you're going to put it on after it's done and you'll be able to drain it down here right in the lid and you can mix up all your stuff inside okay, guys, there. So I've, um, I've, the pasta came out, it was 12 minutes, it's cooked perfect. I mean it's, it's still, you know, it's not swollen mushy, but it's not, well, it's just a little over al dente. It's going to continue to absorb up any liquids. I rinsed this with cold water, I drained it, the drain holes are on this end, you just put the lid on and drain it. The handles always stay cool in the microwave, bonus. So I've got my, um, that's a bowl here and I'm going to go ahead and dump my pasta in here. And this is way more than I need. No, actually this is a perfect amount. I wanted, I wanted this much pasta for our dinner. This is great to take to a potluck. You can double, triple, quadruple this recipe. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add Miracle Whip 
and mayonnaise, both. So I have a four ounce jar of pimento cheese or pimentos. And this little tool, I get asked about this tool all the time. I cannot find these anywhere for you guys. You guys ask me all the time, but you take this little hook and pop it up under, embrace it up under the lid, and it'll pop up the button and you, well, whoops, hold on. It's, you will be able to open any of these lug, well, uh, if I can get up under there. It's hard to do it up in the air. I know it already popped the button. So you get up under the lip and it pops that for you and you have um, no problem getting your lid off. Sometimes these are really hard for me because I have a little arthritis in one hand from doing hair, but let me drain off most of the liquid. I'm not concerned about some of it because the pasta is going to absorb it, but just most of it. We're going to drain that off and then we're going to add those pimentos to our recipe. So. Like I said, I don't get too crazy. We want them nice and wet because the flavor of the liquid. And then I've got in this mayonnaise jar um, of Hellman's, I've probably got, I don't know, an eighth of a cup there. And um, I think, you know, you always need a little bit of that uh, real mayonnaise. Now, normally I would add cream cheese and maybe even a couple other cheeses to my pasta salad, but you really don't need it. So now I'm going to add a good two tablespoons of Miracle Whip. And let's just get this all stirred up. This is kid friendly. The kids love it. And you're just going to coat. It makes its own dressing with a little bit of liquid from the pimentos and the, you know, the pasta is a little wet. And now, mm -hmm. okay, once you see that it's all well coated, start adding your cheddar. And I'm going to add, we're going to measure it out so you know exactly. This is a half cup measurement. So one, let's add a cup and see what we have. I always do it by how it looks for me and how much cheese I want in it. But let's do that. Yeah, we're going to need more. You want quite a bit of cheese. But the cheese gets coated as well. So that's why you kind of want it. Oops. That's why you kind of want it a little on the wet side. Because you want to coat the cheese with the dressing as well. So let's put a total of two cups. That I know that's going to be enough. Okay, two cups of grated cheddar and you could you know you could change this up you could do mild cheddar you could do smoked cheddar however you want it but i am doing sharp cheddar and and that's the end of this pasta dish and now we're going to let this chill even though it's been you know the pasta's cold we're going to let this chill off and it'll be ready to serve with dinner so there you go and i'm going to Go ahead and bring the camera back so I can give you a taste test and we'll be done with the video. So don't forget the link for all the Tupperware stuff I used today will be up above or down below in the description box. And okay, let's see this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a little quick taste test. Um, this pasta salad is so kid friendly and, and adult friendly. It's just got some really good flavors in it. You can cube up, and I've done this, you can cube up cream cheese, cut it, get it really, really cold and cut it into cubes and fold that into this. But I find that this is just as good without it. So, and, and it's less fat. So I'm just going to get a bite with some pimentos and some cheese and the ditalini pasta. Mmm, give you a taste test. Mm. And they just slide right on the fork. I bet my grandkids are going to love that. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect. It's creamy. It's simple. Nobody's going to have a problem with it. You got a little tang from the um, Miracle Whip and the mayonnaise. It's absolutely wonderful. And this, you chill this off. It's already pretty cold, but you chill this off and it's great for a picnic. It's great to just add on to anything. So I hope it inspires you to go ahead, try a new recipe.
this is an easy recipe idea. Um, anybody can do it and kids love it. So for all those little brunch things that are coming up and, and barbecues and cheap and easy dish. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. I hope if there's anything you need down below, you'll go check it out. It's free to shop and um, that you come back to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notified whenever I upload because I love seeing you here. All right.